Welcome to New Life this weekend. My name is Jana. I am one of the worship leaders here. And wherever you are at, I just encourage you to worship alongside of us because he is worthy of our praise today. One, two, three, four. In the land that is plentiful, where your streams of abundance flow, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, when I'm found in the desert place, though I walk through the wilderness, blessed be your name. Shining down on me when the world's all as it should be. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name on the road marked with suffering. Oh, there's pain in this offering. Blessed be your name. Job was a blameless man. He was found favor in the eyes of the Lord, and he had wealth and a large family. And yet, in an instant, it was taken away from him. And instead of cursing God, 
he fell to the ground and he worshiped him. And the next verse says that the Lord has given and the Lord has taken away. Praise be the name of the Lord. And that's my prayer for us today, that wherever we are at, whatever circumstance that we are going through, that we can choose to bless the name of the Lord throughout everything. And so we're gonna sing that chorus one more time. And I just encourage you to sing it as a prayer that we are choosing today to bless the name of the Lord. So sing with me. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. One more time, sing that out. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. One, two, intro, two, three, four. Verse 1. Worthy of every song we could ever sing. Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. We live for you. Verse 2. Jesus, the name above every other name. Jesus, the only one who could ever save. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. We live for you.
One, two, intro, two, three, four. Closing in and when I look at the space between where I used to be and this reckoning, I know I will never be alone. Chorus was another in my eye standing next to me. Bye. 
Father God, Lord, how we need your peace today. We need it in our own lives. Lord, we need it in our country. We need it in this world. Lord, that peace that passes all understanding. Lord, I just pray that your peace will fall afresh on us today. Lord, that, that we will just stop and know, Lord, that you are in control. Lord, help us to just know that we can lay everything that we have at your feet, Lord, and that you will guide us, you will protect us, you will comfort us, you will heal us. So, Lord, I just pray for healing today. I pray, Lord, that for everyone that is watching this this weekend, Lord, that they will just know how much they are loved by you. Help us to walk one step closer to you today, Lord. In your precious, most holy name, amen. We just welcome you again to new life. We just pray that as I just said those words, that you feel the peace of God over your life today. And I just, I was encouraged last night, I was reading my devotion, and I just felt like God was saying me, normally during this time, we get up and we greet one another. But I just felt that, you know, we might not be here physically, but we are still a church and we are still a community. And I just felt God nudging us just to take the time that we would normally greet one another and just pray for the body of Christ, pray for the members of this church because we are all going through different things. And so I just encourage you, find some time today to pray for the church, pray for new life because I can't wait for the day that we get to be all together again. But until then, let's lift each other up in prayer. So I also encourage you to grab your Bible, grab a notebook, grab your family and a pen or pencil, and just get ready to dive into his word today.